Did you work on Pink? Because somebody said you did. Yes, you do... early on, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Alex asks about that, yeah. I don't know, you have to look it up. I couldn't tell. Choice, or so was she in a girl group? Or they, was they, were, they were choice. Uh-huh. They, were three, they were three white girls. They were choice. And so I went in the studio with choice. And I did, I think I started with them first at the face. And we did one record. And then later on, you know, Kenny in LA was like, well, they just, the other girls don't fit with her. Mm. You know what I mean? Because she was, you know, she was pink <laughs> back then trying to be in a pure white bread trio <laughs> singing group. You know what I mean? And uh, I remember she came up to my office once and she goes, you know, she goes, she put her leg up, goes, I don't want no white boys in my video. And I was like, <laughs> really? No, I don't want no white boys in my video. I was like, this girl's different. And I think it wasn't soon after that, like LA said, or Kenny said, she's going to be rock. She's going to do a rock album. I'm like, okay, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> but she knew what she was. She was, you know what I mean? It's a great voice. I, I don't know what album. I think it's the very first one. Yeah, maybe. yeah. I, I, you know, I don't think it was a hit or anything. But I loved her. I loved Alicia. Alicia was fun. She was she was crazy. She was fun. <laughs> so talented. She did some backgrounds for me, actually, on a couple of my projects. Yeah, she did backgrounds. I think on, she may have sang on Shantae and Kenny Lattimore. I, I was doing a duet album of remakes. She sang on a couple of things for me. Wow. Great voice. As you know, great voice. Yeah, yeah, great, yeah, yeah. Great, great voice. And I haven't seen her since back then. I've never run into her. You know, I'm so happy for her success because once again, she I knew she had that talent. Wow. You know what I mean? I didn't see it being a rock star. Yeah. But, you know what I mean? I didn't yeah. see that. But the voice was there. Her voice was incredible. Just I was like, my God, you know, wow. so strong and just in pitch and always hitting the notes and you know, but yeah, I forgot about Alicia and Choice. Carol Simmons, yeah. when I spoke yeah. to him, he said about how she was different from the rest how of the girls, was. and she was yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, see, I got my pink. The pink is my that was my my homie. So, oh, did you I know mean, her before uh, she was yeah. with Choice? Yes, right. Well, no, no, I I knew mm-hmm. her after Choice, right before she was about to come, like right when she was coming out. When she was oh. coming out as a solo artist, oh. so there was a window there that's that 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 I fell into, and I love her. She she's one of the best. Period. Like, um, but how did but, which, which, is that when she was coming up as an R and B? And then how did that? What was she yeah, always? Well, it, it's it's crazy. Okay, we'll jump to Pink. So yeah, when I met Pink, I met Pink. There was a, a brother of mine named Will Baker. Will Baker is a writer and producer. He he his his first hit was a number one hit that he did with Will and Pete. It was a, it was a duo for, uh, oh gosh, I'm drawing a blank on the group. They had this hit. I, 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 maybe I'll remember that. Anyways, and he was doing things and I was working on a group and an artist and somebody connected us and he mentioned this artist, Pink. Well, it's, see, I'm jumping forward, but the reason why some, some of that came in my direction is because when once I'm, got into the music thing i started out in the pop world it was strictly by chance in other words my heart my r&b world my r&b <laughs> heart my r&b life caught a you know caught a pause for a minute and I, I found my way back but i began in pop just just by a series of interesting events yeah. so as that happened people would, would say well you work with these guys, so what, I I know this girl, this white girl, she's fly, blah blah blah. So we went to Atlanta, and and I met Pink. We hit it off. Uh, she, I, I remember going to her apartment, and she played all this music. And I was like, wait a minute, you you are talented. She grabbed an acoustic guitar and and started singing. You know, she had a you know rock and soul vibe. She played songs that their group did, but then she was sharing all this. R and B that was real, you know, like real R and B, not pop R and B. And she um, and I was like, okay. And she goes, yeah, L A was like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna put you, you're gonna be solo. I was like, no question, you're gonna crush. She just had her whole, you know, her mm-hmm. pink vibe. It was, it was crazy. <laughs> and uh, I remember when she played that first hit she did with um, was it Tricky? Maybe the producer, but it was it was. Here we go, there you go. Yeah, there, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her very first song. We're in the studio, 
and she playing it over and over and over and she's just so excited and proud of it and i'm listening to this, i'm like oh shoot this is she's about to be out of here and maybe you know so then i this is in atlanta and then i remember next time i saw her and was in la and she was blown up she's doing mtv she's here there <laughs> everywhere cool as could be same girl you know she's not presumptuous she's just down to earth um but she had the vibe but yeah, it was cool. We did a song together, and um, it didn't end up on any of her albums. Oh, okay. It was a personal song where I played the guitar riff, looped it up, played a beat, kept it raw, and she did it. It was about it was about her growing up. Like it had to do with it was called Streets of Philly, and uh, when I met her, that's what we did. We did music. So oh, cool. and you didn't? And no one got it. Who, does she have it? Do you have it? Or what happened to it? I have it. Oh yeah, I have it. I have. I have all. The, man, I have so much music. A, a lot of it, you know, didn't get released, but it, it, stuff that we did together it is dope. So if what I happens played, to if it? If though? I ran into it and played, but what happens to when you do a session like that? Um, who 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 owns it or who you know? The label man, let me that's... tell you, <laughs> that is a spaghetti. <laughs> Uh, train. I'm not even me. And, you know, it's funny. I I have to. I need to get with Bob again. Bob is like, man, you need to be getting, you need to get with all these labels and ASCAP and BMI and start figuring out what's going on. Where is everything? But I, it, it just ends up everywhere. I have I have some of the music, but because of the way things were recorded then, it has to be transferred digital. A lot of stuff was still tape or or digital audio tape mm. or CD. To so it just. It's just there if someone has it. Eddie was good at archiving. Eddie Eddie has a ton of songs that we did, but did, I'm did you, scattered, man. No, you you did, have to reel me in. Yeah. Watching, please remember to subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, to press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we do have a new interview. Loads to come, but thanks a lot for watching.